Antonio Living. Tea is very popular, especially this time of year. We've got Valentine's Day coming up. But, you know, really, tea time is any time. So Diane Gotsman is here this morning. She's our etiquette expert. She's going to help me with some, some tea facts. It's good to see you. Nice to see you. You know, it's just not for Valentine's Day, although it's a perfect time. Yeah birthdays, baby showers, weddings. So this is a good time to talk tea. I am really excited. Okay, so let's talk about some of the different options for tea because there's high tea, I guess. So what do you think about high tea? I think that's like, got. I, I have to wear my gloves and my hat. <laughs> so you right? have to wear your overalls. <laughs> and really, really? I don't want to be, be coy, but high tea is not a formal tea with oh. gloves and hats. It's really a working man's supper or working woman's supper. Really? Meaning years and years ago, people would work out in the feels in their coveralls and sure. jeans and come in and have mutton and sausage and heavy foods that's and potatoes, kind of tea right which there. I really like, yes. by the way. So, so what about afternoon tea, Afternoon then? tea is the most formal tea, and that's oh, really okay. a form of what we're having today, but afternoon tea involves scones, it involves sandwiches, little finger sandwiches, mm -hmm. which we do not have today. We're doing dessert afternoon we're tea. We're having a light tea today. Oh, light so tea. Okay. afternoon tea has a little more. We have a light tea, which involves sweets, pedophores, and a cream tea has clotted cream. Uh, royal tea has Chambord or royal sherry. Royal tea, like or, that. There's a royal so tea. we're having a royal tea Ooh, I today. I like it. Okay, I'm excited. Well, thank you. That is so sweet. Okay, so let's talk about the things we need for tea, and we'll start with the tea itself. So the tea itself, there there's different types of tea. There's black tea, green tea, okay. oolong tea, and that then... That goes with my Chinese food. Oh, your Chinese food. Yes. And then there is herbal <laughs> tea. And you know what herbal tea really is? What? It's called a tisane. A tisane. So Okay. I, this is so interesting. I don't know if the camera What's can pick this? this up, but these are little roses. Little they're rose baby. Buds. See, see, they're little baby yeah. rose buds. That's tea. And this is tea. Really? This is tea. And you put this. And you know, I ordered this. Okay. Actually, a girlfriend of mine. I didn't order it. A girlfriend of mine brought it back from China. But you can order it's this beautiful. online. Okay. And it's beautiful and it's delicious. Now this, this is black tea. And Camilla Sinensis. Oh, I'm going to make a mess. Well, Camilla Sinensis is the plant that it comes Ooh. from, and it's all about the way you ferment it. Okay. So this is black tea. Green tea is a little lighter. Oolong tea is also a process. Okay. It goes to the tisane. So just drop it in there. All right. So this is one of the, you know, you so need. Tea is what you need. And you can use a tea bag if you would like. So you brew your tea, you get it in your cups. You get it in your cups. And, and then there's some some side items. Some side items. So you know what? You have to have sugar cubes. Okay. It's a must. I really think that honey is too messy. So with sugar cubes, you need some kind of tong. Okay. You absolutely need something to pick to, to pick it up with. And this, when you are out and you're looking around for little fun things, mm -hmm. this is like a little a little lemon. It grabs the lemon. It can grab your candy. Is it candy lemon? What is that? It's not candy. Just regular this lemon. This is fresh lemon. Okay. It's candy ginger. You can put whatever you would like in it. Now, do I squeeze the lemon or you, just drop it in? Oh my gosh, that's such a good question. Drop it in. Do not touch the I lemon. I ponder these things Don't often. Squeeze. Just get it on <laughs> Don't in there. Don't squeeze the lemon. Okay. And this is the this is one of the worst things you can do. Is Make this noise in your cup. Don't do you that. You never bang. You don't do this because you're going to hurt the delicate china. Okay. So you just make a little N and an inverted N in the center of the cup, the teacup. Okay. And then you place your teaspoon on the behind, side. Oh, behind, behind the okay, teacup. Okay, so let me look at this so, and okay. see how. So now, so this is the correct positioning it's right the here. Correct positioning. How now pick do up your I cup. hold my teacup? You keep your pinky down. Pinky down, not and like then this. You drink down. Hello. And then you drink in. Into. So drink your tea. Okay. You drink. You look into, and not over the cup. Oh, because if you look over, you're gonna spill. True. There so you go. I look in. Yes. No slurping. No, no slurping. Loud. That's too and then much. Put it down. Slurp, slurp, slurp. What about okay. people that do this? Is this okay? You have to. Well, if to bring you're it sitting off? at a table, mm -hmm. don't bring your tea. Don't bring your saucer up. Okay. But if you're walking around, certainly you're going to walk around with your saucer and your teacup. And you know, these are just common little facts that we. What about to... this etiquette? <laughs> no. Dippy, dippy, dippy. Is that okay? That is not okay. No. <laughs> no. Mm. No dippy. But you can put your <laughs> you can put your little cookies on your saucer. Okay. Your your cookie can be eaten with a finger, but anytime you have cake, any kind of pastry that requires a pastry fork or a fork, put it on the table so the so the guests don't have to run back and forth. Okay. Much like I think one thing that you absolutely everyone needs to invest in is cocktail is little uh, linen napkins that can double as cocktail napkins okay. or luncheon napkins. But you can find them all over. They're not expensive, but we all need this in our absolutely in our cabinets. Okay. 
nice. So say I have sandwiches. Yes. What's the etiquette there? Can I use my hands? You have to use your hands okay. for your sandwiches. Don't <laughs> cut the sandwich. Even though it's a sandwich, sandwich, you just never right. know. We're a team, but you okay. still, finger food requires fingers. Okay. But that means that the little sandwiches we're going to have for tea are tiny little sandwiches. Don't shove them in your mouth. Two bite sandwiches. Two or bites. Possibly three. She has done this before with me. Okay. You're good. You're yes. good. Time for some tea. <laughs> I love it. So now this is a strainer. Okay. And so when you have loose tea in your teapot, you put the strainer on the tea cup oh, and that then is for you, fanciness. that's right and then you pour your tea into the into the tea cup okay. on the strainer and then remove the strainer okay. okay i'll tell you what i feel as though i am armed with information and i could attend an afternoon tea would I wear my hat and gloves for that? You could, but okay. you would take your gloves off to eat your sandwich. And I will keep my pinky. Oh, I would. <laughs> yes, that's important. And pinky down. Thank you so much. Always good to see you. Guys, if you're looking for help on any kind of etiquette, if you need someone to come and speak to your group about etiquette, Diane Gottsman is here in San Antonio with the Protocol School of Texas. Find out more at DianeGottsman.com. She's also on Facebook as well.